I've had this love for chocolate for over 22 years. I actually started making chocolates when I was just 19 years old in Santa Rosa and Sonoma County. Sokola specializes in Vietnamese inspired flavors. So we have chocolates that are not typical. So instead of having a mocha chocolate, we have a Vietnamese coffee chocolate or cafe sila. We have a durian truffle, a sriracha truffle instead of a spicy chocolate. And we just try to embrace our heritage and find different desserts and things that we grew up with that we enjoy and put it into the chocolate. Sokola means chocolate in Vietnamese. Wendy and her team have worked really hard to reinvent chocolate to reflect their heritage using some really interesting ingredients like sriracha. So the sriracha flavor is mixed with dark chocolate and so the chocolate kind of enhances the chili notes in there, a little bit of garlic, um, that spicy tone, but it's about a six out of 10 in terms of spicy. So everyone can have this chocolate. Mm, this is really lovely. You can taste something that has that sriracha flavor without it being super overpowering. This is really good. I should save you half. <laughs> I'm currently piping uh, durian ganache into dark chocolate shells for our little Saigon box. So durian is a very pungent fruit. Some people say it smells like gasoline and onions mixed together, but I don't think so. Um, it is like a custardy fruit. It's from Southeast Asia. It's a special occasion fruit for us, and it's usually during family celebrations that we have it. Those two chocolates are only part of our Little Saigon box, which is our most popular box. So this is available year round. And it's basically a four course meal in the form of chocolate, a Vietnamese meal. So the first course is a jasmine tea truffle and a Vietnamese coffee truffle. And the second course is savory. So it's a pho spices chocolate. So we take all the spices in pho and it's paired with a sriracha truffle. And then the third course is dessert. And for us, we always have fruit actually. So guava, lychee, passion fruit, and of course durian. And then the final course is cognac because when we have family gatherings, of course there's karaoke and sometimes it can help people sing better or make them think they sing better. Our parents had a nail salon, so every day after school we'd go there to help out. And this meant going across the street to the Santa Rosa Plaza on our breaks and um, eating free chocolate samples every day. So after having eaten hundreds of chocolates, I finally wanted to learn how to make the chocolates. So I found a recipe in Gourmet Magazine and made a mocha espresso chocolate. And that's when I went down a rabbit hole and found a candy supply store and started spending all of my money there buying dipping forks, molds, and learning all about the different techniques and ways to make chocolate. There weren't a lot of programs to learn about chocolate back then. This was 20 years ago. And so it was kind of a journey that I set on my own. And then the, the curiosity then was like, well, how come there aren't any Vietnamese flavors in the chocolate? And so I had to experiment and tinker on my own to create these new recipes to reflect my heritage. Um, and that's brought me the most joy in spreading chocolate to friends and family that reflect my heritage and my culture. So we have for AAPI Heritage Month our Heritage Bar Collection. So this is where we launched our Durian King Chocolate Bar, a Toron Bar, which is inspired by one of my employees. She loves the dessert and so she created a chocolate bar to reflect that. There's definitely Toron taste like in there. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> a jasmine chocolate bar in dark chocolate, jasmine tea, uh, strawberry matcha, and then kheer, which is inspired by the Indian dessert, the rice pudding. I mean, I think we should celebrate all the time, but it's this very special time because we all get to see other cultures and, and uplift each other. What's the best part about making chocolate? It's very relaxing. I get into a zone when I'm making chocolates and I just, that's all I focus on is that and I don't have any worries. I'm just focusing on the chocolate right in front of me. I think it's just the whole experience of enjoying chocolate. It makes you feel good. I mean, there's always something to discover about the flavors and it's just something that makes you happy and something that you can share with other people and experience and travel through just eating chocolate. It can take you to another place, a happy place, a childhood memory or somewhere you've traveled to in the past.